Raptors were large carnivorous cephalopods that were native to the planet Tuan Kate. And as Han Solo says, they are big and they are dangerous in The Force Awakens when we first get to see them. They operate in packs where they utilize howls at a frequency beyond humanoid hearing to communicate among one another, and they also vocalize roars when attacking and devouring prey, and of course let out horrifying shrieks in a fury of pain. They are also basically blind and lacking a true skeleton, and they are more like slugs, but they possess multiple long tentacles for grabbing, attacking, defending, eating, you get the point, and of course they had a large mouth and sharp teeth. Rattars are some of the most dangerous creatures in the galaxy. Hungry, vicious, and re relentless, as Darth Maul says when he went hunting for them. The biological study of Rattars were extremely rare due to the beast's dangerous nature, and although capturing one was considered near impossible, the creature was targeted by bounty hunters and collectors like King Prana and his rival Regent Skull Culvis. These are Star Wars characters even I don't know, but it's the reason why Han Solo had those Rattars in his ship to begin with, as he was hired to capture them for a private zoo for these monarchs. And Rathtars actually have a lot of legends, like the Trilla Massacre, which is what Finn says in The Force Awakens. Basically, this is an event in Star Wars where Rathtars showed up on a planet and they killed everything from you and I to the horses and the cows. But they also make their way into the High Republic as well as, as a weapon of the Nile during the attack on Starlight Beacon, which is something I like that Rathtars are kind of... Uh, first shown off in Force Awakens, then they end up being used in the High Republic era, which I think is a good place where they fit. But Raptars, they're big and they're dangerous. So that is the Raptar. Subscribe if you would like, and until next video, goodbye.